Good morning, church. It is great to spend this time with you again on a Thursday morning and talk about what's on our hearts related to our walk with Christ. It's uh, It's been a hard year for a lot of people, more than a year now, and um, a lot of uncertainties. And I think the uncertainties are, are as hard to deal with as some of the actual events of things that happen, just not knowing what's next and what uh, what to build our hope on, and which made me think of the song, My Hope is Built. And it's uh, it's based on the scripture from Matthew chapter 7, where Jesus is teaching his disciples through parables. And uh, Jesus said the following words, starting in verse 24. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who has built his house on the rock. The rain fell and the floods came and the winds blew and beat on that house, but it did not fall because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not act on them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. The rain fell and the floods came, and the winds blew and beat against that house, and it fell, and great was its fall. Jesus made it clear that uh, using this metaphor of building our houses on the solid ground is something that... uh, is directly related to our spiritual life. He's talking about basing our life on his words and his commandments. And I know that uh, when Jesus was asked, what are the greatest commandments? He said to love God with all your heart and mind and soul and strength and love your neighbor as yourself. And on these two commandments hang all the law and the gospels. This is what we're to base our lives on, loving God which means not just saying I love God, but to do the things that God calls us to do and loving one another in a way that truly shows respect and dignity to all people, that others know that they are children of God. Well, the song My Hope is Built was written by a gentleman named Edward Moat, who lived from 1797 to 1874. He grew up in a, a non-religious household, and so he was not, did not learn about faith early on in his age in his years, but he was apprenticed to a cabinet maker and he learned to build cabinets. But Edward Moat found faith when he heard the preaching of John Hyatt at the Tottenham Court Road Chapel in London at the age of 15 years old. While living in London, Moat established a successful cabinet making business and became a Baptist minister in 1852 at 55 years of age. So he was a, a late coming to the ministry. And then he went on and ministered for another 21 years at the Strict Baptist Church in Horsham, Sussex, in England. Well, Edward Mote became a prolific hymn writer, and he composed more than 100 hymns between making cabinets, I guess. And he published these hymns with selections by others in 1836 in a, in a book titled Hymns of Praise, A New Selection of Gospel Hymns. The hymnologists, which means people that study hymns, have said, have noted that when this book came out, a new selection of gospel hymns, that was the first time that the now common term gospel hymn appeared. So Edward Mote basically came up with that title of a gospel hymn. And it's believed that My Hope is Built, the song I want to do with you this morning, was written about 1834. Well, William Bradbury, who lived uh, from 1816 to 1868, who was an American gospel song composer, wrote the tune for this song in 1863. So from 1834 to 1863, there was no tune associated with this hymn. And then he published it during the American Civil War. And uh, Bradbury's book was called Devotional Hymns, and the devotional hymn and tune book in 1864. So... The William Bradbury teamed up uh, much, much later with Edward Moat to put this song together, a favorite of our hymnal, My Hope is Built. I encourage you to sing along and think about what is your hope built on? What is it that is uh, most important in your life that you, um, that you use as an anchor? That's the rock that you build your, your life on. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus' blood and righteousness. I dare not trust the sweetest frame, but wholly lean on Jesus' name. 
On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. When darkness veils his lovely face, I rest on his unchanging grace. In every high and stormy gale, my anchor holds within the veil. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. His oath, his covenant, his blood, support me in the whelming flood. When all around my soul gives way, he then is all my hope and stay. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. When he shall come with trumpet sound, oh may I then in him be found. In him my righteousness alone, faultless to stand before the throne. On Christ the solid rock I stand, all other ground is sinking sand, all other ground is sinking sand. My prayer for you today is that you base your life on the rock, the rock that is Jesus Christ our Savior. And you keep those two greatest commandments in mind, to love God and to love one another. Go in peace and have a beautiful day.